We have an exciting afternoon with some uh, new fire trucks to show you. And to begin, we're going to hear from our mayor, Mayor Martin Walsh. Mayor. Thank you, Steve. I want to thank Stephen McDonald, uh, also Commissioner Finn, uh, for his great work. Richie Paris, uh, President of Local 718. Father Dan Mahoney, thank you very much, Father, for being with us. Father John Curry is with us as well. Thank you, Father Curry. Uh, these great students and teachers from the Mather Elementary School right behind me, thank you guys for coming today. How about a round of applause for yourself? And for the teachers, I just want to give you an early, happy uh, National Pre Teacher Appreciation Week. Uh, I know it's for next week, so I want to get you out there early. Uh, and behind us, some of the young uh, future firefighters, maybe a future mayor, future public safety officers with us. So it's great to see uh, our young people here with us today. Uh, as we go around the city of Boston, you often see the young people looking up to our firefighters. Uh, they are certainly real life heroes to a lot of our kids and a lot of other people in the city of Boston. It's a testament to their character and their courage and their love of this city. And it's a testament to the incredible leaders that we have steering the ship uh, in the Boston Fire Department, like Commissioner Finn. Just last month at the Metro Fire Chiefs Association, they, the, uh, his peers, Commissioner Finn's peers, named him uh, and elected him National Fire Chief of the Year. So I want to congratulate Commissioner Finn for his great work. He's been part of this fire department for decades. He's been the commissioner for the last three and a half years. He's made it his mission in this, in his role, to, to make sure while our firefighters are responding to fires, keeping their, them healthy at the same time. In the city of Boston, we share that mission. We're built, we do, we share it. We're building the first two new firehouses in nearly 30 years in the city of Boston, one in Dorchester, one in Roxbury. We're renovating two of the oldest firehouses in our city, one in Charlestown and one in the Back Bay. Last year, we replaced nearly half of all of our ladder trucks, and over the next four months, we're gonna purchase 23 new engines. The data tool that warns firefighters about building hazards are in these stations and in, these, in, these equi in this equipment. Upgrades to our oxygen tanks with the newest in safety technology with that. We're making these improvements, these big improvements in our city to make sure that our department is more resilient. Last month, when we proposed a capital budget and a budget, we made our Boston Fire Department even stronger, including half a million dollars to pilot a program reducing the risk of cancer for firefighters. It funds industrial cleaning of firehouses and equipment. Too often, we, we get the call that one of our brothers and sisters in the fire department has come down with cancer. Oftentimes, this happens before they retire. And it's the job that they've done over the years with the smoke and with all of the, mater with all of the different hazardous um, materials that they, they come across. So we're working to make sure that not only are we cleaning their equipment, but we're also gonna look to clean these firehouses. The Boston Fire Department and our Public Facilities Department are gonna work together to determine how we can build smarter firehouses from the ground up. And in this capital plan, as I said earlier, two new engines, engine 42 in Roxbury and 17 in Georgetown will be some of the most cutting edge facilities in the country. The renovation of engine 50 in Charlestown. None of this though would be possible without our commissioner, our command staff, and Richie Paris from the 718 Union working together. Working together to make sure that the people of our city are safer, making sure that our firefighters are safe and respected, and making sure that we continue to, to move our city forward. Now I'm just gonna take one more minute. I have a, a proclamation here that I just wanna read. Boston has the oldest fire department in the United States, serving residents of Boston since 1678. Whereas the Boston Fire Department is the largest municipal fire department in New England, serving approximately 650,000 people. And that does not include what happens when we get called over to Chelsea and Everett and Cambridge and other cities to assist. The Boston Fire Department has an average response time of four minutes and is some of the lowest fire fatality rates in the United States of America. Whereas Boston Fire Commissioner Joe Finn was recently named the National Fire Chief of the Air Award, and whereas firefighters take on the responsibility of keeping our community safe, to do so with excellence, commitment, and dedication. Therefore, I, Martin J. Walsh, Mayor of the City of Boston, do hereby proclaim today, May 4th, 2017, to be Firefighter Appreciation Day in the City of Boston. 
I urge all of my fellow Bostonians joining me in recognizing and thanking the Boston firefighters for keeping our community safe. And for all the firefighters here at Meeting House Hill, I want to thank you for the great work you do. I sat on my day down at Engine 21. I'm here. We're going to hit a few more firehouses today. Thank you for your work every single day. Commissioner, that's for you. The Fire Commissioner and Chief of Department, Joseph Finn. Thanks, Stevie. Thanks, Mayor. Um, Richie, President Paris, and also Reverend Mahoney, uh, Father Mahoney. Um, first, I'd like to just say something. Uh, it's been mentioned a couple times today about this award I received, a uh, national award. Um, let me tell you something. That was a team award. That was the work that's been done by the entire staff at the Boston Fire Department. And I just consider myself having to be just the coach of that team. And then I'm surrounded by some great individuals who are doing great work in the city. And, you know, to go through the command staff, I'd have to list everybody individually. But I got to tell you something. I am blessed with the people who are working and moving this department forward. Um, I also couldn't be more happy, if you would, with um, the commitment from Mayor Walsh. One man can have a vision or a department can have a vision on how we're going to move this department forward, how we're going to rebuild after many years of neglect. But if you don't have the f support of the mayor and the financial resources to do that, it all falls or not. And uh, Mayor Walsh, I just want to say publicly thank you for everything that's going on. When you look at where we've been in equipment, apparatus, nine trucks this year, nine more ladder trucks coming next year, 23 new engines, two new firehouses are going to be under, um, they're going to be built, groundbreakings, two new fire, two firehouses being renovated. And the mayor's commitment around uh, safety, health, and wellness, the issue that deals with cancer. Cancer is having a devastating effect, not only in the Boston firefighters, but also firefighters across this country. And Mayor Walsh has given me the resources to make sure that we're at the front, front of that, combating that and making the changes we need to do to make sure that we make a difference in protecting our men and women of the Boston Fire Department. And for that, Mayor, I just want to say thank you. I'd also like to recognize another partner in this. None of this could be done without the cooperation of Local 718 and President Richie Paris. He's not only a dear friend of mine personally, but he's also a great union leader who has made significant strides in understanding that we need to move this job forward, especially around the safety, health, and wellness issues. Um, if you look to where we were just three and a half years ago around this topic, we have, changed, we have made some significant changes, not only tactically, but also operationally on the fire ground and also with equipment and how we are moving forward to protect our members in the Boston Fire Department. And Richie, thank you for embracing that. And it, it is great to have all these young kids behind us uh, from the Mather School. I have a fond affection for the Mather School. And uh, hopefully there is a future mayor or at least a future firefighter or at least a future police officer, someone in public safety coming out of that. And what a great school the Mather is. It's the first elementary school in the country. Uh, and it sits right up here on the top of uh, Meeting House Hill with spectacular views of the bay, and it's great. And uh, I'd also like to thank our partners up here from the church, the First Parish Church, who have been terrific neighbors and supporters of the fire department up here uh, through the years. I mean, we've been great neighbors to us, and I just want to say thank you for that also. So with that, I'll turn it back over to Stevie. Thank you once again. Uh, I do want to acknowledge uh, elect official we do have here, uh, Boston City Councilor Tim McCarthy, great friend of the fire department. Thanks for joining us. Uh, I'd like to introduce the president of Boston Firefighters Local 718, Rich Paris. Thank you, Steve. Good afternoon, everyone. It's, uh, it's been a long time coming for firefighter appreciation. Uh, this administration has recognized us um, as appreciating the firefighters, what we do. This team behind me, the firefighters, the men and women, just came back from a fire a half hour ago, a house down on Longfellow Street, if I'm correct. And uh, they did a great job. And with the response, the fast response from the firefighters, uh, they kept it to a single alarm. And I just want to say, the men and women that are behind me do a great job day in and day out. And I think they deserve a round of applause, if you don't mind. Thanks. I want to thank the mayor and the commissioner. We went through some tough times with the last administration. They went seven years without buying fire trucks. They didn't care about the men and women in the fire department. They didn't appreciate us. 
but this mayor and this commissioner appreciates us. We never had this done before. We never had the mayor coming to the house this morning and, and doing the rounds. And that means a lot. And, and I really want to thank the mayor and the commissioner for doing that. You, you guys are doing a great job. And the kids behind us, how many of you want to be a, fire, a firefighter when you grow up? There you go. It's a great job. And I just want to recognize a dear friend. My executive board, I got Ralph Darling, uh, Michael O'Reilly, my legislator rep, and, and vice president, and uh, Jerry Viola as uh, an e-board guy. They do a, I couldn't be doing this job if I didn't have the support from my executive board, and I really appreciate the hard work that you guys do in day in and day out. In an ending, I just want to recognize Timmy McCarthy. His uncle was a chief up here. He sits on the city council from High Park, and he's everywhere with the firefighters. He had a brother die of cancer from Rescue 2, and he also has a brother, Kevin, on the job. So, Timmy, thank you for being a dear friend of the firefighters. Once again, thank you, everybody, and stay safe out there. Uh, before I call up our chief chaplain, I'd like to ask the firefighters here to please come around because the students have some cards they want to present to the firefighters. So, so you just come right around here and you guys in the back row can turn around and hand the cards to the firefighters there. And you guys can help. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, boys. Thank you. All right, now back to the program. It's uh, my honor to introduce our legendary chief chaplain of the Boston Fire Department from St. Francis de Sales Parish in Charlestown, Chief Chaplain Father Dan Mahoney. Thank you, Steve, and thank all of you here today. As we come together in prayer for this few moments, in the blessing and dedication of this new Engine 16, I would ask you, as I ask you all, to always remember in your prayers your, the firefighters of the city of Boston. And so we pray, almighty and eternal God, may each one of us always be grateful for the blessings and the graces, the gifts and the talents you have given us in your own divine providence. May we use these gifts and talents, blessings and graces, not only for our own well-being and the well-being of our families, but also for the well-being of the Boston Fire Department. With your loving care, O oh Lord, watch over every member of this department and our own individual families. And may your goodness to ourselves be reflected in our service as firefighters for the protection of life and property in the city of Boston. On this Boston Firefighters Appreciation Day, May each one of us and all Boston firefighters rededicate ourselves as professional union firefighters to serve the city of Boston in the highest traditions of the Boston Fire Department. As this new Engine 16 is placed in service this afternoon, grant your protection, O oh Lord, on all those members who will respond on Engine 16 to alarms of fire and special calls. Return them to quarters safe from all harm and injury. And may St. Florian, our patron, watch over us, our own families, and our extended family, the men and women, uniformed and civilian, active and retired of the Boston Fire Department. In a special way this afternoon, may God extend his blessings upon these children and all the school children of the city of Boston, for they are the future 
and in them we invest our time and love and generosity. All this we ask in God's name, amen. We also, behind me, go behind me. We also want to acknowledge uh, Boston City Council and Mrs. Savi George for joining us again. Thank you. And what I'm going to do is move this podium out of the way, and the mayor and the children are going to cut the ceremonial ribbon again, uh, dedicating this new engine.